Hi! This is a review of Vivian vs. the Apocalypse by Katie Coyle, and this book is also the winner of the 2012 Hotkey Books Young Writers Prize. Vivian vs. the Apocalypse is set in a contemporary America where a new branch of the church has kind of come to life, and it is called the Church of America. They follow a leader called Frick, and they also read from the book of Frick. The church has very quickly gained popularity because it is predicting a rapture that will happen soon, and because there are a lot more hurricanes and tsunamis and natural disasters and school shootings. People are willing to get behind this church because they're scared and they want to make sure that they're raptured because it's also been predicted that six months after the rapture, the world will end. The main character is a teenage girl called Vivian Apple and both of her parents are believers. The book starts the day before the rapture is supposed to happen and Vivian is at a mock rapture party. But then the morning after the party, when she gets home, her parents have disappeared and there are two holes in the roof. And as the day progresses, it turns out that thousands of people have just disappeared so Vivian is left on her own and these thousands of people disappearing is not enough for kind of the world to fall apart But society is just slowly unwinding Especially now that because a lot of people believe the rapture has happened It means that the end of the world is close So schools are closed and people start looting and a lot more people become believers So Vivian her best friend Harp and Peter a boy they meet along the way decide to go on a road trip to figure out the truth behind the rapture This book has some excellent Excellent side characters. I really enjoy Harp. She kicks ass. There's lots of hilarious swearing and the friendship between Vivian and Harp is very believable and also very recognizable. I also really enjoyed Edie who is a pregnant believer girl who they pick up from a highway stop and who just kind of travels along with them for a while. They're just a great group of characters. They're really easy to picture. They're very distinctive voices and I think the dialogue is really good. When Vivian's parents became believers, they kind of became their own little entity and because Vivian wasn't a believer. She became very detached from her parents. But as she goes on this trip and meets a lot of people, she kind of discovers some new stories about her parents when they were young and it kind of makes her realize that they are real people with stories and that they also made mistakes. What's very scary about this book is that the world seems to be so calm, but it also feels like everything's about to get really out of hand. There's so many devout and peaceful believers walking around with long skirts and button shirts, but the believers are getting more desperate. They might believe that there aren't enough enough kind of places in heaven. So their response to that is to just kind of go crazy and they start killing girls that are dressed too provocatively. And one of the most terrifying scenes is when Vivian and Peter have to dress up as believers and just walk around the city, which is totally fine if they just behave normally and keep quiet, but it could go wrong at any moment. What I really like about this book is that Vivian has to kind of learn how to stand up for herself. She was always kind of the passive daughter and the passive best friend, and that just has to change now. There's also a really cute relationship in the book, but it doesn't take over the entire story. It just makes it a bit more interesting. I really enjoyed some quotes from the book of Frick and when Harp and Vivian were kind of poking fun at them. They're really ridiculous and hilarious, but then it's also scary that people might actually believe them because it is in this book that they're supposed to follow. The book slowed down a bit towards the middle because the group wasn't really sure what they were supposed to do, but then it ends with like two or three amazing plot twists. I can highly recommend this book if you like road trips, ass-kicking female characters, and semi-apocalyptic scenarios. If you're interested, you can check out the author Katie Coyle on both Twitter and Tumblr. I'll post the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll talk to you guys later. Doei! Hello, me cool.